Hello ladies and gentlemen, today for the first time ever I'm in a 1.14 world. If you've not been living under a rock, they recently added campfires. Right now the functionality is that you can cook food and that they emit these smoke particles. If you put a hay, hay bale underneath, uh, the smoke rises even higher uh, than without it. So of course uh, this can be used to kind of create signals. And if you put a block above, the smoke is blocked. And if there's no block, the smoke rises up. And that can be used to kind of make different signals or create different letters. And actually like five minutes after I was done recording my video, I saw the, the video by Mambo Jumbo, who used redstone to create a kind of a typewriter keyboard thing. So I decided to just re-record the video so I can reference this. And his typewriter just used redstone or vanilla. And but I'm a command block guy, so I wanted to make a clean and efficient way to send a message. And since the, the typewriter I created was quite different than the one he published, I decided to still make the video and publish this to you guys. So for this video, I created a small little data pack which allows you to kind of make smoke messages using campfires. The download link is in the description. And if you download and install it, you can place down a campfire in a random spot. Let's place it over here. And if you now pick a nether star and drop it on top, it actually creates an enchanted campfire. And every time you walk near it, this keyboard in the chat pops up. And this can be used to actually uh, like make letters, which then rise up into the sky and can be seen from quite far away. Another thing you have to keep in mind is that the letters are always rotated into the direction you're looking in. So if we now write a P, it can be read from over here. So let's say your friend has his base right over there in the distance you'd have to like face into this direction, then pick a letter uh, and that way he can read it correctly. I mean, you can still make out what the message is from the other side, not from this side that much, uh, but from, from here, you can still make it out. It's just mirrored. Uh, yeah, and this is just kind of a nice way of communicating. Uh, there's a small cooldown when you like the letters so it doesn't display two letters at a time. And yeah, you can just use this data pack to communicate with other people in your world. Looks quite cool, I think. And if you're wondering how I did it, um, there's like whenever you walk up to it, I just display a terror message. And whenever you click on one of these uh, letters, um, the data pack adds a tag to the campfire armor stand. Like there's an invisible armor stand representing the campfire center and the, the letters actually add a tag to it. And then the data pack detects the tag and just summons the correct letter and sends it into the sky. And now I'll just show you guys uh, like the particle command details, because if you actually, let's, let's make a basic particle command a campfire, then let's do this and zero, zero, zero. Speed, let's pick 0 0.1, one particle and force. If we now put that to repeating, let's actually summon it uh, above the command block. And let's pick 0 0.01 for the speed. And you can actually see that the Particles are emitted in all kinds of directions and it's not going up. So this is a neat little command block trick that if you're a map maker, you need to know if you actually set the count to zero, these numbers here don't represent the kind of the box in which the particles spawn, but the direction in which the particles are going in. So if we pick one for this number right here, the particles should go into the positive x direction. If we just wait for them to clear away, you can see that they are traveling into this direction. 
And if we actually increase the speed, they are going much faster. And if we now change this to one and this to zero again, they are rising into the sky. And I just used a bunch of different combinations of these commands to make up the letters. I actually had to hard code every single one of these letters, which was quite a lot of work. The data pack has, I think, over 900 lines of codes. Um, so it was quite a lot of work to put all of this together. But yeah, that's how it works. And you can just write any message that you want. And if your friend has a campfire, an enchanted campfire too, he can even respond to you and you can communicate through this uh, new matter. And yeah, if you want to remove uh, the campfire again, you can just destroy the block and the armors then will be killed as well. And if you want to use this creation for yourself, there is a download link in the description. Just drag the zip file into the datapacks folder of your world, then type slash reload in the chat and everything should work just fine. And that's about it for today's video. A bit of a smaller creation, but I still hope you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.